What's going on, nation? Today is Monday, and it's the start of your week, and I wanna make sure that you guys are on track to reach your goals and getting mentally focused to accomplish any task you might have. And so the reason why I made this video is because I needed to actually do this, and so I started last night. For me personally, you know, whether I'm working from home or I'm in the studio, if I have things that are a mess throughout my house or my surroundings or places where I, don't, I go every single day, and that includes even like my bedroom. If my bedroom's not clean, my kitchen, my office, my cars or whatever, you know, I have a hard time focusing because I like to keep things in a certain order. And if things are slowly falling out of place because I'm procrastinating, I have a hard time focusing on what has to get done because the things that should have been done aren't, you know? And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. So last night I started, obviously I cleaned my kitchen, I made sure everything was nice and organized, and then I started my food prep. Food prep is one of the most important things that you can do to help you get focused for the week. As many variables as you can take out of your daily life as possible, well, that'll help you stay more focused. And what I mean is, if every single day you have to worry about what you're gonna eat, every single day you're gonna worry about what you have to eat. And so if you do things like food prep and you prep a ton of food for the week, that variable is now gone. You can either pack your food the night before because it's already cooked and waiting for you in the fridge or in the morning when you wake up and you're doing your, your, your rounds around your house, getting ready to leave the house, or maybe you're working from home, you don't have to worry about stopping work and going to cook for a few hours because food's already ready for you, you know? So trying to have as much time in the day is very important when trying to accomplish goals, whether they're personal goals or fitness goals, because at the end of the day, they're both gonna merge because you need to hit the gym to hit your fitness goals and you need to get your stuff done at home to reach your personal goals, you know? So this is all going back and forth. And so not to ramble too much, for me personally, I work from home. I do have a studio as well. I work out of the studio, but if, my surroundings are a mess. I cannot function within that chaos. And Eric is the same way. So the first thing I did last night before bed is I cleaned like the hell out of my kitchen. I like cleaning my kitchen. I actually learn a lot while cleaning my kitchen because I put the History Channel on and I turn it up all the way. And I actually, there was a pretty cool thing on last night comparing modern superheroes to um, ancient gods, which is really cool. And there was one on Nikola Tesla, which is really cool. Um, I won't bore you guys with that if you're not interested, but I do learn things while I clean because I put the TV on super loud. And then I also had to go through my bedroom and make sure everything in my room was organized. You know, I, I used to always make my bed when I woke up in the morning and I need to start doing that more because when I get home from, because I like to work all day, go to the gym, and then come home and relax. And so if I come home and things are a mess, it kind of throws me off mentally because there's no, there's no order. I'm not surrounded by order. And so last night, I cleaned my entire room, got a dirty dish. I like, I like to eat um, Greek yogurt, and I mix um, Synthesix um, Isoburn. Uh, not Synthesix. I mix BSN Isoburn in it. So usually there's like bowls with like either oatmeal or yogurt, like crusty and, you know, whatever. I got all those bowls out. <laughs> I'm going to try to reduce myself this week to having only one bowl and washing that bowl every single day so there's not bowls everywhere in the sink. But, you know, I'm rambling. Room is clean. Woke up this morning, bed is made, done. So now when I come home, that room's already secure. Kitchen's already secure. Already food prepped for the week, my food's done. And then I also came into my office, which was a little bit of a mess. And if I'm sitting here and I'm looking, you know, over here, over here, over here, and I see a mess everywhere, that distracts me. I don't know why, it's just how I'm built. Things have to be clean. Same thing with my car. If I get in my car every single day, that whole drive of no matter where I'm going, if my car is a mess, I'm just thinking, oh my God, I have to clean my car. Like this is disgusting, you know? And you might not think about it, but all the, you know, you, your brain has, I don't even know the number, so I'm not even gonna attempt to a guess, but it's like an insanely high number of amount of like thoughts and actions you think about in your brain every single day. And if you think of your brain as a muscle, because it is, you know, you're, you're really fatiguing that muscle. I mean, you're already having all these thoughts happening throughout the day. So now on top of that, if you're thinking about the same thing because you're procrastinating, 
you're going to have all these other thoughts piled on top of those that are constantly repeating themselves. And for me, you know, I do get, I do get fatigued and I get worn out and I get burnt out. And if you're a procrastinator, that's why you probably feel burnt out all the time because you're, oh, you, you feel like you're always rushing to get things done. And that happens to me a lot, unfortunately. But that's just because that's the way I am. <laughs> but I have been making positive changes on that. And so, you know, I don't want this video to be, you know, a video where I, I ramble on and on and on about a bunch of different things. But I do want to, you know, make a few solid key points. And those points are, you know, whether it's the beginning of the week, depending on what your schedule is, you need to prepare for success. And whether it's gym related, life related, job related, goal related, whatever that is, you need to prepare for success. You don't want to, you don't want to feel like you're constantly rushing to get everything done. And you can have a, a huge plate of things that need to get done on a daily basis and you can pr prepare to get those things done and not feel like you're constantly rushing every single day because you will get burnt out. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, if you're trying to pay bills and get your lifestyle situated, things are gonna give. And usually if you're not prepared and you can't get all your stuff done, the gym is probably gonna suffer the most and we don't want that to happen. So I want you guys to get on track and if, you know, today, maybe it's a late start for you, maybe you're procrastinating right now, you know? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna give this video a like because I've already talked to you about how you're gonna help yourself. And then as soon as you like this video, you're gonna finish watching and then you're gonna start getting yourself prepared for success. You know, if you need to stop right now, take a few hours to do some cleaning and some organizing to make sure that you can mentally focus on any task you have, get things done, and then make it to the gym, that's what you're gonna do. And actually, as soon as this video ends, I'm gonna do the last thing that I need to do to prepare for the week, which is fill out my goal board for the week of things that I have to do. And there it is. And then usually I put this in a place where I see it every single day. So that is that. And a couple of fun facts for you guys. Uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna go to LA. I'm actually gonna be on a panel uh, talking about you know how the fitness industry is changing with some really popular guys you might have heard of, um, Tony Horton and Cassie Ho. I'm gonna be on the panel as well. And there will be some other panel members. We're all gonna talk about fitness and social media and how all these things um, are starting to kind of relate to each other and how the industry is changing based on how social media is evolving, which is pretty cool. And then at the end of the week, this week, I'm flying to Boca Raton to do a photo shoot with BSN for some of the upcoming um, video and ad, photo ad campaigns that are coming out next year. So I'm super excited about that, which is one of the main reasons why I'm getting myself super on track right now because that means I need to train harder than I have been for the past few weeks this week I have to make sure I'm on track with my meals, on track with my water consumption, which is what's inside this bottle right here. And I have to make sure I go tanning a few times, which I already have, I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, probably not. Um, <laughs> and I need to make sure that I'm not rushing because I need to look my best and feel my best when I get to Florida or else I'm gonna be burnt out. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I know it's a little different. I like doing videos like this. If you guys do like stuff like this and there's more one-on-one -on -one chats, I like to get to know you guys. That's why I'm always in the comment section responding. But you know, I thought about it and you know, I feel like you guys kind of you know, know a lot about me, but maybe we can chat about some more cool stuff. So if you have any topic suggestions, Leave those in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great day. And I do have a, a few surprise workouts coming this week. It's actually gonna be a five part series uh, that you can do strictly at home. And all you need is a few light pairs of dumbbells. And they're workouts that you actually can do in real time with me. You just push play and then I kick your butt for a full 12 to 15 minutes, so. Those are coming on the YouTube channel this week. Once again, leave your comments in the comment section below. Give those topic suggestions. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.